Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Well Her Music and my series on musical maestros. And today I've picked a composer who's not that well known, but the piece of music that we'll be listening to is very well known. So, this is what I want you to be able to do today. I want you to be able to identify the story behind the piece of music, which is The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Be able to tell that story. And then something very different. I'm going to want you to create a piece of art that helps explain the story from what you can hear. So first, who is this composer? Well, it's Paul Ducasse. He was a 20th century composer from Paris in France. He was born on the 1st of October 1865 and died on the 17th of May 1935 and his major works include The Sorcerer's Apprentice. So let's find out a little bit about him. Well, he started playing piano at a really young age. He started to compose when he was 14, when he was recovering from an illness. And age 16, he started to compose. Now, he did a few different jobs, but in 1890, he was working as a critic and he critiqued a piece of work by Richard Wagner, who is a very famous composer. And the piece of music was being performed at Covent Garden in London, and it was being conducted by another really famous composer, Gustav Mahler. Now, he was a perfectionist, was Paul Dukas. And Often, he would throw away his music if he wasn't happy with it. Sometimes, he would complete it and then throw it away, and sometimes he wouldn't even get to the end of it before he threw it away. So not much, about, not much of his music exists. Not as much as it should. Now, he finished his music career teaching. He spent a lot of time teaching and had a job at the Paris Conservatoire. So let's look at The Sorcerer's Apprentice then. It's based on a poem that was written in 1797. The poem tells of an old sorcerer who departs from his workshop, leaving his apprentice with chores to perform. Now the apprentice was bored. He was tired of fetching water by the pail, which is a bucket. So the apprentice decides to put a spell on his broom to do all of the work for him, using magic. Now, he's an apprentice. He's not fully trained to do this yet. Soon, the broom was dropping water everywhere. And the apprentice realised that he cannot stop the broom because he hadn't learnt the magic to stop it. So the apprentice, in some panic now, decides he'll get his axe and split the broom in two. That way, that will stop it. It won't be able to move and it won't be able to do any more water carrying. But the opposite happens. He splits the broom in two with his axe and both bits of the broom start moving the pails, the buckets of water. Now, the water is being moved at double the speed. And at this faster speed now, the entire room begins to flood. And when all seems lost, when the room is all underwater, the sorcerer, the old sorcerer, returns. And quickly puts on his own spell. The poem finishes with the old sorcerer's statement that only a master should use this powerful magic. So the music that was written by Paul Ducasse was completed in 1897, 100 years after the original poem was written. So your listening task. Listen to the piece carefully because the music changes a lot. And my first question to you is can you identify one point where the music changes to show a change in the story? Let me give you an example. At two minutes in, the dynamics change. They become very quiet. Most of the orchestra drops out and there's just the low brass and bassoon instruments at play. 
I think at this part of the poem, this part of the song, is where the broom starts to carry the pails, those buckets of water. So listen through the piece and see if you can spot another moment where the music changes and shows that something else must be happening in the story. The next thing I want you to look at is do you like this piece of music? Yes, no and why? And give a really good answer for it. Something like I like this piece of music because it's really interesting. The music changes a lot and there are lots of different instruments that play in different sections and they all get to play the melody but at different times. My favourite part of this piece is at 7 minutes 30 when the music begins to get really fast. It plays the main theme, the whole orchestra plays the main theme really fast and really loud. That's the kind of answer I'm looking for on do you like it, yes, no, and why. So there's your challenge. Then, your creative task. Listening to the piece of music, can you create your own piece of art, your own picture? Doesn't matter how many resources you've got, if you just get your pencil or if you're painting it, it's up to you how you do this task. But can you create a piece of art that represents the sorcerer's apprentice and the chaos that he caused by not being able to do magic quite properly yet? So that's your challenges for today. It is such a fun piece of music. I hope you enjoy it and have fun creating your own piece of art to go with this music. <laughs>